It's been a concern for SAT7 since the early days that we make a valuable contribution to the life of children in the Middle East. And before the 2011 uprisings, the United Nations Development Program published a series of reports on Arab human development. They cited three major causes of backwardness in the Middle East and North Africa. And one of these was a lack of a good education and access to information. And it's true that the whole school system in many countries of the Middle East is totally inadequate. Kids go to school in overcrowded classroom. It's not keeping pace with the needs. And consequently, children are not learning to think. They're not being encouraged to think or to be creative. They're actually just being taught how to memorize content to pass exams. On top of this, many children, especially girls, are not getting into school at all because they go at a very young age into the workforce. In fact, this study I mentioned earlier from the United Nations shows that up to 21 million children in the Arab world today are either not in school or not getting anything like adequate education. This came to a head with the Syrian civil war when half of the population, including half of its children, were displaced from their homes, either as refugees or internally displaced people, and lost access to education. And it was in this context that we said, enough, we need to make a contribution to helping these children, not just to learn to read and write and uh, learn about arithmetic, but to actually think critically so that when people suggest things to them, extremist ideas, they can say, no, that's wrong. We want to give them a moral framework based on internationally recognized values and rights. We need to help them to think pluralistically, to be more inclusive in their life and in their work, to welcome others who are different to them, the disabled, the foreigner, the ethnic or religious minority in the community. Without all these things, there's no real hope for a democratic and free society in which, that can survive, not survive, but thrive into the future.